Hello everyone, Sen here. On today's episode, we're going to be implementing tile maps into our game. And so, um, to do that, we're going to be using the tile map editor. You're going to have the link in the description. And the first thing we have to do is download tiled. We come here and just hit download. And then after that, we can close this. And also, uh, we're going to get this uh, cute style header. It's a header file made by Randy. And it basically parses uh, tiled files. So we can have all the information that these files contain into our game. So you can either download the file from here. Or just copy the contents and go into... Let me just go into PS Code. Create a new file. We can create a new folder too called external and then here we have cute tile dot page and paste the contents great perfect so now that we have that let's um open tile oh sorry i didn't sell it you would just come here and dig tile and it's a normal window installation just click next select a folder to install it and after you have installed that, you're going to open it. This is the UI. And we can just create a new project. So let me create a new project. We can have a, we can create a new folder inside of our um SDL game project um folder, sir. And we can just create a new folder called tiles. And here we can just say, I don't know, it's the top down, whatever. You can name it whatever you want. And now we have the project loaded. So what we need now is a new map. Let's create a new map. And here you are going to select how many tiles you want the map to be in size. I'm going to leave it as default 30 by 20. And then in the width and the height, you're going to select the size of your tile. So in my case, it's 16. You have you would have to check well, what size your tiles are. So let's hit OK. And now we have here our map. Now we would just come here and start filling all the map with whatever we want to draw into the screen. But to do that, we need a tile set too. So to create a new tile set, we just come here, just say new tile set. And first thing, it's pretty important to click this embed in map. If we don't click embed in map, uh, it's going to give us errors later. So should hit it. And then here in source, we're going to browse for the for the SDL. Sorry, not the SDL, the tileset uh, file. So Let's come over here. We have overworld tile set. So let's get this. Let me copy it and paste it here at the root too. Just so it's easier to find later. I'm gonna copy two tile sets so you can see that the approach that we're going to use um uh can have more than one tile set at once. And so let's load this one first. Hit OK, and then if you want to add a new one, just come here, pick your new tile set, and do the same for the other one. So open, OK, we have the other one here. So now let's uh, create our map. Um, how do you feel like this? Okay, whatever. F, yeah. Perfect. So let me just uh, add this over here. Let me open the image in another tab, which is going to copy this. Um, since this is just an example, and I want something that looks looks good, let's just copy from here. So now, if we try to uh, place the tree here, you'll see that something happens, and that's the the ground now is transparent. And that's because um, we're just changing the grass style 
for another child that doesn't have a background. So what we do in a case like this is just create a new layer. We create a new layer that's going to be on top of the other one. So now we can just come here and place the tree. You'll have the ground um, tile under and then the tree on top. I'm just going to paste some more trees. And since I don't... Yeah, and the grass is the same thing. Now if I try to change the grass here, you see, it becomes transparent. So we just go into the second, into the second layer. So let me put some of this over here. What else do we have in the house? Let's copy the house. It's over here, I think. We have a tree of some flowers. These are not the ones here. These ones. Here is when you, you'd have to be creative and start doing your thing with your child. But for me, this is going to be copied. So. We would have this over here, and then this, right? And I'll just draw the edge right here. I think I can just draw it, draw it into the first tile and the first layer. Just going to do it like this, and then like this. And we have the corner over here. And as you can see, now we have a transparent spot. So instead of having it on the first layer, I'm going to put it on the second one. And I'm just missing this thing. Put it here. Break. I mean, it's looking quite the same. So perfect. Now that we have that, uh, we would need to export the the files in a format that our header file that we have on our project can load um, the tiles into our game. So to do it, we will just come here. You can save your project by hitting save. Yeah, just saying a map, whatever you want. But to export it, um, we're going to hit here, export us. And Change the format to JSON. So, just map dot JSON and save it. Great. So now we have our tile map exported into a format that our header file is going to be able to read. Since um, next part is going to be quite extensive, um, I think I'm gonna end the tutorial here. Here, uh, we already know how to create a tile map. Uh, a map inside of tile and how to draw inside of it and how to export all the things into this format in JSON so we can read it with our cute tile.header and in the next episode we're going to be implementing um, a map.c in where we will be reading all the data instead of this file and drawing it into the screen so I'll see you next episode where we will be doing that.